JFK, 40. 40 years, 40 people, 40 stories. On News Talk 820, WBAP. What we're trying to do in this country and what we're trying to do around the world, I believe, is quite simple. And that is to build a military structure which will defend the vital interests of the United States. Word came up that the uh, president was dead. Well, you could have heard a pin drop, I suppose, because it was quiet. The Associated Press reports from Dallas that President Kennedy was a shot today just as his motorcade left the downtown section. Luke Mooney, Dallas County Sheriff's Deputy in 1963, stood on Main Street south of the Records Building and watched JFK's motorcade make that right turn onto Houston Street and disappear. Seconds later, he heard three gunshots and ran to the school book depository building. It was Mooney who found the so-called sniper's nest used by reputed assassin Lee Harvey Oswald. We found the three spent shell, which was evidence of the three shots that were fired. And it looked like he'd eat his lunch there or something. Couldn't tell what. I didn't open it. Paper sack. Shortly after Mooney found the spent shells, another sheriff's deputy found the murder weapon. She was standing there and they was looking at the rifle. We didn't know what it was, Italian rifles. It looked like the old 30 caliber carbine that we used in World War II. Since Mooney was the first policeman on the sixth floor of the book depository building, he discovered the perch from which Oswald is said to have fired the three shots. He says, contrary to popular belief, it was not the corner window on the sixth floor. It was one to the right. They said, paired that the cartons are up against the window sill. I said, they wasn't up against the window sill. I said, how? Could have been up against the windowsill, tilted. I couldn't put my body out that window and look down if there had been any cartons of books up against it. Former Dallas County Sheriff's Deputy Luke Mooney. For JFK 40, I'm John Pendolino, WBAP, 24-hour news. Listen for JFK 40, the Lost Kennedy Tapes, Saturday, November 22nd, on News Talk 820, WBAP.